Hey guys, I am here today to celebrate the milestone for the Not Too Shabby Shop hitting 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. It is a part of a giveaway hop for Not Too Shabby. There are 10 YouTubers participating, including myself, and there are 10 different sponsors. So I'm going to get into a little bit of um, the giveaways and, and the more details throughout the video, but all the information, just in case I miss anything, will be linked below. So for today's video, I chose to use honeybee stamps. I had just purchased some new products. So here they are. I have the treat shop add on stamp set, ton of stamps. And I went ahead and purchased the coordinating dies, the treat shop add on coordinating dies. And here is the picture of the house builder card base. So the treat shop is part of kind of the collection that you can use with the house builder card base. And Jamie does have this available in her shop, the base one. And I just wanted to show you a better picture of it since I won't be making a house. I'm going to be making a little candy shop. So I'm also going to be using this stencil from Honey Bee. Oh, I don't have it in front of me to know the exact name, but it will be linked below. I think it's cobblestone. Um, I probably will be purchasing a couple of their brick stencils because those go really well with the whole house builder collection. I believe I have each one um, that Honey Bee has released. The beach house, the Christmas um, toy shop, the coffee house, stuff like that. I will link everything that uh, Jamie has in her um, in her shop as well as Honey Bee, uh, Honey Bee's website. So I am, believe I'm using Tattered Rose and I just stenciled that onto the house. And here are two of the awnings that are a part of the treat shop add-on. Each little house builder add-on comes with its own little roof. So here I am cutting every other one, I'm cutting them all, but using every other one to create a awning, an awning. Um, however, I don't go with the black. You'll see, I'm, I just stuck it, kept it in the video because off camera, I ended up changing it. So out of the house builder card base, I cut out two of the card bases because I'm going to make a house shaped card. And then the treat shop add on, I cut out the little awning piece. I'm doubling it up on the foam tape because I want this card to have a lot of dimension. And I'm going to go ahead and attach it to my card front. This was so much fun to put together. It is a lot of dies, a lot of stamps, but if you have time just to put it in a movie and create with it, it is so much fun. So I went ahead and cut out the door to the um, house builder card base set. And I took a tip from Nicole Spore and she, I was watching her video and she layered her door to make it dimensional. So I went ahead and added three layers and this is more of a house store, but I thought, you know, in a small town, sometimes the candy shops or the little shops that are downtown area have these kind of doors. I go ahead and attach the staircase. And going back to the awning, you can see I've changed the color to light pink. You can kind of see a little bit of the black poking through, but no big deal. We're going to go with it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the door, and then I will go ahead and I've stamped all my images off camera and we'll go ahead and color them with you. And while I color that, I want to give you some details on the giveaway hop. So like I said, it is to celebrate Jamie at the Not Too Shabby Shop hitting 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So the hop, it has over $400 in prizes, 10 possible winners plus a bonus prize. So hop to each participant, leave a comment. The more comments you leave, the um or the more videos you leave comments on the more chances you have to win if you leave a comment on all the videos you can unlock extra entries to win a not too shabby 50 dollars gift certificate there will be links below there's a rafter excuse me a raffle copter link that you click on um so basically if you want to enter any of the giveaways 
watch all the videos and leave a comment. And again, all this information will be down below as well as all of the links to the participants. So I've gone ahead and stamped my images onto some alcohol friendly marker paper using, I believe I used Stampin' Up's Basic Black ink and I'm using my Copic markers just to do quick coloring. All of these stamps have coordinating dies so I do cut those off camera. Um, I don't, oh yeah, I pretty much color everything with you, um, but I do kind of cut it short. I believe I didn't color the cake with you or something or other. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So cover them up, die cut them out. They're so cute, and I love that there's coordinating dies for every little piece. So like I stamped my cupcakes in the little display, the domed shaped cake display, but if I stamped them by themselves there's a die for it but there's also a die for the dome shaped cake pan cake plate whatever you call it so I mean it's really really cute they do have which you're gonna see here in a moment they do have squares these that I've cut out now in the house builder card base there are actual windows but I am using these as windows because I wanted them to be a little bit bigger. I also wanted them to look like single pane windows so you can see all the goodies inside the shop. So I am just using my art glitter glue to attach these and my tweezers to hopefully get them as straight as possible. I doubled up a couple of the squares. I believe I used a square die from the house builder card base and then a square die from the treat shop add-on that created a window frame, which you'll see me add in a moment here after I add all my goodies inside the shop. The window frame I did pop up with some um, adhesive strips that were the perfect width so I could get that dimension again. And here I'm going to just um, adhere all the goodies that I've colored and die cut out. This is such a cute set and there are also little awning pieces for the window which these I don't know if these are supposed to be technically windows so my awnings are like almost too short for the window but I got them to work and I can't recall if I've made a video I'm pretty sure I have made a video using the house builder card base um, but I believe when I made the video I just used it as a card front where this video I'm actually making the card house the house shape which is just so cute and with all these add-ons you can get um, I mean you can create a beach house Christmas house a haunted house it's just such a cute collection I don't know how much more they can add to it but um, it's really a lot of fun. And I'm glad, you know, I like the black and white look, but um, I really like that I went with the pink, the light pink. Um, I also would probably prefer to have stenciled brick, but um, I went ahead and just went with the cobblestone because that's the stencil I had from Honeybee. But they do have two different style brick stencils, a small, really small brick, and then salvaged brick, which gives it a little bit of um, roughness, <laughs> uh, vintage. Um, I'm not sure how to describe it, um, but I really like it. Yeah, rustic, somebody said in their, their review. I'm looking at it. And it's uh, great for smaller scenes because it's a small brick. So I think I'll be picking that up. I'm going to go ahead and attach the little sign. It's just so cute. And of course, this stuff can go with anything. You can pull it out and include it in any card. It doesn't obviously have to be with, you know, creating these houses or these shops. There's just, it's such a great stamp set. And that goes with all of them, the Christmas one, the beach one. And you can create scenes if you want. You don't have to create the house, like I said. The door does not have a doorknob, but I do add a doorknob um, at the end off camera once I was done with the video. 
So the sign says candy shop, but I wanted to make sure that it also had bakery. So they had little sentiments, sweets and bakery. So I went ahead and just stamped those out and cut them to kind of include on the awning piece. Try my best to get it lined up because this was a lot of work to have crooked items. So I had two more of these little banners left over and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to pop them up here. It's adorable. And then I will... Uh, well, I already added some white highlights with a gel pen. And here is the die cut piece that came in the House Builder card base set. And it, it cuts out a strip, but then it has a score line and you fold it. So I am adding double sided tape to each side of the fold. And that is the hinge, basically, of your card if you wanted to create the card, the house shaped card. So I peel one, pe one side off at a time. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach it to my card, the front of the card, which is the house part, all the decorations. As you can see, I'm in a different color white by accident. It almost looks like a very vanilla cardstock, but it's just a different shade of white. Um, I went ahead and cut out another card base, basically. I'm going to remove that strip of double-sided tape and attach the back. And then again, that is your hinge. I'll show you here in a moment that creates your card. It is so stinking cute. So I hope you guys like this. Definitely participate in the whole hop and comment for a chance to win. Thank you to all the wonderful sponsors that are participating and celebrating with Jamie with her 10,000 YouTube subscribers. And definitely read the details in regards to the prizes you can win and how to enter. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.